Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Looks like you're seeing double again today. So, I've got uh, double trouble going on over here. Uh, it's not Stevie Ray Vaughan, unfortunately, but nevertheless, it is good stuff. We've got two John Deere blocks sitting up there. This is the standard uh, pump hole job. I thought it was going to be slick and set these up the same and be able to do them both at the same time. But it turns out that the bore center lines uh, to the machining on the bottom of the block vary about 27 thousandths. So I'm not going to be able to just do the holes and go straight over and do the other holes. Uh, I'd have to offset it. So I think what I'm going to do is just do them one at a time and that way the bore centers stay exactly where they're supposed to be. Uh, I thought about whether or not to fudge it that much and I decided it was too much probably. Uh, does, I did go back and measure the main bores and there's some variance there too. Uh, there's a discrepancy of five thousandths in the height between the two. So I'm going to guess that maybe, you know, whatever the factory tolerance is, the age between these blocks is different. So the tooling may have been set slightly different when they did one versus the other. Uh, I mean, if they change the gear lash or whatever there, I don't really know. Or maybe it's just a matter of what day it was and how hot it was in the shop. And, you know, it all runs close or loose enough that it really didn't matter if I thousands. Uh, wasn't the end of the world. It's, it's often not in mass production stuff. I found stuff that was 15,000 off before, so five's not really that unusual. Anyway, uh, since it's not going to work out to do what I thought it was going to do, at least I've got them both set up, so the machining shouldn't take too long to do, and I'll have to reset them back up or set another one up. I've already got that done. All I gotta do is move the table over and do it again. And you know, how cool is it to say you had two six cylinder diesel engine blocks on your mill at the same time working on them? So that's a bonus anyway. Fire the mill up and get the hogging these holes out.
might as well push it right so i got this thing sped up a little bit and taking bigger cuts and everything's going pretty good so i uh, finished getting this hole here hogged out and then i'll go over doing the bolt pattern again i didn't film it on the other one but we'll do a little on this one hate to bore you with repetition
Well, I hope you enjoyed that little episode of this Double Trouble. Uh, got these knocked out, another job done. So these are ready to go back to the customer and hopefully they can get ready for Gordyville. And uh, they try these out. I didn't do any of the machine work on these. And uh, this one with the steel caps, it still needs some work. Looks like to me the caps don't line up, so I assume it still has to be line board. So I'm not sure why they put the deck plate and stuff on it without doing that, but uh, it's whatever. Looks like uh, these should be some interesting pieces anyway. If nothing else, now they can run some P-pumps and get some fuel so they can try and tear these things up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.